Before the video begins, I'd like to thank the people listed on the screen right now for supporting me on Patreon. Welcome to Let's Play Need for Speed Underground 2, Part 27. And in the segment, it's time to begin Stage 4 with some collections. So, I'm here in Jackson Heights, around right there. And uh, we're just going to pick up the bank along the way, because there actually aren't any more info bubbles. At least in this stage, so there's just a bunch of bank. And yeah, there's the one for Jackson Heights, so uh, I'm working my way north to south here, since, you know, the... <coughs> new uh, part of the map we unlocked is on the south part of the map. So, you know, I thought it makes sense to just, uh, you know, go north to south with this stuff. Check out the new area last. And then we'll do some, uh, I decided on what I'm going to do first. I think I'm going to take care of the drift events first. Of course, if you read the title of this video, you'd already know that, but still, shut up. Me. So, yeah. We also got to find the new shops and unlock the new parts from those new shops as well. So that'll be fun. I believe this will also be, the segment will also be the swan's, swan song for the uh, Tiburon. Since we should sign a new, be able to sign a new sponsorship deal, which means another new car. Free car, I mean. So you bet your ass going to be taking advantage of that. Also, we'll be able to, to uh, check out all the new cars I unlocked into the dealership from the... Uh, Stage 3 URL events. Anyways, here's our first bank pickup in Beacon Hill. The next one is over to the west here. Let's just go over to the west here. Dude, switchbacks. I do like this switchback section. Like, it's so unnecessarily wide and cool. I don't know. I just like it. Okay, okay. Oh, hi, Mike. Alright, so... Bank should be yonder way somewhere here. If I'm looking at this correctly. To be, uh... Towards the inside area. Probably in this little... Little nook here. Maybe? No? Am I blind? In low? Oh, nope, I am. I'm dumb. Okay. I'm at the wrong spot. It's over here. I was reading the map incorrectly. Anyways, here it is. 200 bank. Now I have 48,000 bank. Which is good. Anyways, those are the two banks over here in Beacon Hill, so let's make a quick stop to Burger King. Do some sprint racing next to Burger King. Nice. <clears throat> Driving through the rain at night on a pro proper follow-up to this game. So you want to play NFS 2015? How ugly is the car gone? I mean, you see it here. Kind of. Even the faraway camera doesn't even show the front bumper. Dang. Well, anyways, just go over here. Head to the city core. Don't say nasty things like that. Hey, I'm just saying the truth. Like, that's what NFS 2015 is. It, it was intended to be, you know. A, uh... I guess a love letter to Need for Speed Underground fans. And it turned out to be, um, the opposite of that. Turned out to be a fuck you handling resembles a car somewhat so a not need for speed game a uh, modern need for speed game I mean is that what you want oh shit hi car it's alright did not have my hand on the steering part of the controller oh, this phlegm help NFS is awesome. I mean, was. Anyways, here's the bank. Money in the bank. At least the first bit of it. Now we just need to go south a little bit. Oh, that's not where the intersection is. Actually, there is no... Oh, hey, here's the intersection. Okay. Go 
go this way. Actually, go this way. So we'll accidentally go to the wrong road. And we needed to go down this road anyway, so never mind. Trust anymore in the physics department. All in. There's a sprint race. There should be some bank over here as well. Yep, it's right behind the sprint race. Okay. I'll just snag that. And then it looks like there's two, uh, two money droppings right next to each other on the uh, eastern side here. I forgot I had a tablet. Congratulations. You did it, Cameron. Fuck GTEs. Uh, so you're, what you're saying is, Mike, your race went extremely well and there were no incidents to uh, report. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, I need to go this way. Navigation. It helps when you're actually looking at where you're going. Anyways, let's see. Here's one. The other one should be pretty close. Yep, there it is right there. Going to win until GTE panicked. Rain I got loose, smashed into us. Oh my god. That sucks, Mike. That, that actually genuinely sucks. Anyways, it looks to me like all the bank that's here in the city core. Uh, there's one to pick up in the airport, so let's just make a quick trip to the airport. And uh, pick up the bank at the airport, and then we'll be heading to the new area, Coal Harbor. And it'll be great. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't know. Hey, 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 what's up, money? Yeah, baby, it's good to see you rolling out tonight. Brothers are telling me there's some potential action in the Cold Harbor East area, you know what I mean? I don't line on the exact location yet, but I'm in it to win it. Should be easy to find. I'm heading that way right now. All right, man, I hope to see you down there, kid. Peace. All right, cool, bro. Thanks for telling me about that race I didn't even hear, so, yeah. God, that's awful, Mike. I'm so sorry. Anyways, here's our airport money, and now we get to go to the harbor of Coles, aka the industrial part of the map. Ah, oh, shit. So, here we go. This part of the highway is now open up. And over here, we have us our uh, Coal Harbor East. Now, I got bank and shops to look for here, starting with this one. Luckily, we have two things. Kill two birds with one stone, because, hey, there's some money. Dollar, dollar. And also, here's the uh, Coal Harbor East specialty shop. We have spinners, audio components, audio layout, too. We, yay, we got more spinners we can put on our car. They're probably disgusting. Anyways, Coal Harbor is a little bit difficult for me to navigate, just because being a later map in the game, I don't really spend much time driving around here. So I will probably get lost a lot. Anyways, here's the performance shop. So now we have pro level weight reduction tires and brakes unlocked. Awesome. Need to actually, I do need to go this way for some money. So, yeah. Six hours of Daytona in two weeks. Oh boy. Speaking of Daytona, the uh, official Daytona uh, like Twitter account tweeted some like, "Hey, would you like to see NASCAR on the road course?" Oh well, yeah, I, I would actually. It would be much, much better than the fucking shitty oval race. That's for goddamn sure. So please, make that a thing. NASCAR, you stupid fuckers. Well, apparently the car lot over here was already, like, unlocked. That's interesting. So I have not driven here yet, and it's just like, hi, car lot. Okay. I guess since there aren't any, like, 
thing you can unlock through finding the car lot. I guess that would explain it a little bit. Um, need to go west here. At least as far west as I can go, because there is a little bit more bank in this train yard here. Gotta find exactly where it is, I think. Yep, there it is, okay. There we go. Dude, I'd love to see the Cup Series at Road America. Best Buy, with a very small parking lot for a Best Buy. Alright, Body Shop. I can tell it's a Body Shop because of the green light. So, here's the uh, Body Shop. No new unlocks. I'm actually surprised at that. And I think that might be everything except for one more piece of bank over here. Just grab it here in this little, uh, this little nook. And there we go. I think that's all of that. So, if we scroll down here, just to confirm for me. Oh, no, there's one more shop I haven't found. And I know exactly what shop it is. Okay. Alrighty. That's fine. Sebring and NASCAR would be really interesting, because, like, I wonder how they would be able to handle the bumps on the uh, final turn. And, well, the entire concrete portion of the track, for that matter. Ah, uh, here we go. Paint and vinyl shop. Raher. And we got new vinyls, and also, uh... Another paint style category thing. Okay, now that's everything taken care of in terms of discovery and pickups. So, let's do some drifting, shall we? So we have a couple over in Jackson Heights, one over there, and then one over here in Coal Harbor. Actually a bit more spread out than uh, they usually have the drift events, or at least they did in the early game. So... Let's go over here, and let's do some drifting as our send-off to the Tiburon, you know, this front-wheel drive car. Anyways, here's the event. Let's do it, Marnie. Yep, <laughs> Marnie. Hoo hoo hoo. I don't know. Oh my god, Dover. Okay, that, that Dover proposal is great. They should totally go to the horse... What is that, a horse race track? Or is that like a... Around in the inside of Dover? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be driven this, drifting. This is a street cross. I don't know why. I don't know why I keep thinking these are street cross sometimes. Probably because street cross is better than drifting. But yeah. Alright, see so you, Rico. Thanks for stopping by. Anyways, let's skid our tib. Hopefully well. So far, I've been doing terrible. It is a horse track. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Just I can do a lap around the oval, then go into the horse track, do a lap around that, back onto the oval. Or better yet, put half the field on the ov on like the concrete oval, put the other half on the horse track, adjust the number of laps completed, like they need to complete on the horse track to uh, make it even with the the main circuit race that way. Just, yes. Just all the yes. Oh my god, what is happening? Other than everyone's just kind of sliding all over the place. I mean, sliding, not necessarily drifting. time play racing in 2019? I certainly hope not. I haven't heard anything. A real life Welch Valley. That would also be awesome. Oh shit. I'm somehow leading this. Other, like, I'm a little bit surprised, but at the same time not. Because, I mean, you've seen how everyone else has been drifting. 
no better than what I'm doing. I think it's just a rumor. Right now. Oh, hey, rain. Which means the skids will be easier for the kids. More racks, because more costs mean more commercials. Don't give them ideas, Mike, because they'll act absolutely do that. Like, hmm, how do we get more money from advertisements? I know, let's just throw a call. The oh. oh, God forbid they bring back the caution clock. Oh, I think I just got sick a little. Just by thinking about the caution clock, aka the ad space clock. Ugh. Oh god, it's disgusting. Out of all the horrible gimmicks that NASCAR has fucking done, that was the worst. Caution clock. It was an air... Ah. It was an experimental thing they did for the truck series a couple years ago where um, they would throw a caution every 20 minutes if the race went green for 20 consecutive minutes. So basically, it was an advertisement clock. So, yeah. Also, I won. Hooray. Not too much per gobble. Alright, sponsor time! Yeah! So, let's see. What we got here? We got Kenwood and Sparko. Here's what I think is worth looking at. Decide who you want to sign with. I think Rachel was just talking to me, but I couldn't hear her. So, we can do a circuit drift or sprint with Kenwood, or a dra drift dragon sprint with Sparko. Sparko sees cuz... I think what I'm gonna do is the Kinwood one, because I'd rather do the circuit instead of the drag. So, so win seven Euro Oil races, three races sponsor choice, 29 additional races, 29. And then we need three DVD covers as well as we get a free car. So let's sign with Kinwood here. Yeah. Yes, I want to sign with Kinwood. Let's go back to explore mode. And I'll deal with all the new car shenanigans and shit. Uh, yeah. Next segment. Ooh, we also, uh, unlocked the next tier of nitrous. Nice. That'll be cool. So, let's just, uh, forget how to navigate the menus, and let's go to our next drift race, which is all the way over there at the north end of the city core. So, uh, road trip. Okay, made it to the location of our next drift event. Well, almost to the location. Now we've made it to the location, and we're gonna overshoot it. It's fine. Just skid on in there. Alright, Chuck, let's do this. As I hit my microphone. Good me. Good job, me. So, yeah. Phantom Debris Caution. Uh, what I mean by that, Mike, is, like, there's a... I, I don't know how true this is, but basically there's a conspiracy that NASCAR will just throw cautions for debris when there's no debris on track. Or the debris might be like a hot dog wrapper or something. Once again, thought this was street cross. Don't know why. Keep saying I'm drifting, but no, as soon as the race starts, I'm like in full street cross mode. Hi, Lancer, how you doing? Call stages and competition cautions. But yeah, that's only like two guaranteed ad breaks. Come on, they gotta have more. Gotta make as much money as possible from advertisements. Fuck actual, like, you know, the integrity of the sport. Oh yeah, NASCAR has been a joke since pretty much Brian France took over. That's when it went to shit. Because Brian France is a shit person with shit ideas. Anyway, it's not doing too hot here. Although I am doing about as well as everyone else. Oh, hello, how you doing, Mr. Mustang? What's up? Very cinematic 20 stage race. I just really hope there's like an announcement one day where NASCAR's just like, alright, no more gimmicks. No more playoffs. No more stage racing. This is a motorsport. It's about racing. 
isn't fucking WWE. Brian France pleaded not guilty of his charges. Wait, he pleaded not guilty to being drunk. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> May not be doing hot, but looks are hot. Yeah, exactly. I don't even have that on my side. Damn it. NASCAR's turns into a Fast and Furious movie. Pretty much. Anyways, enough complaining about NASCAR. <laughs> This game is fun, and I just ruined my score. Hooray. Also, I just realized we're drifting on a rooftop. I don't know why I just realized this, but this is what we're doing. It's like I looked over to my left, I'm like, oh hey, that's a big drop to the uh, street below. Oh, we're on a roof. <laughs> Thonking. I like complaining. I don't. That's the thing. Yeah, I think this is a car park. It's a very oddly designed car park, if it is. Vince McMahon starts a new stock car series. I mean, he, he's already resurrecting the SX XFL, so... That'll be something to look forward to in two years. Because I think he said he wants to have the first season started by 2020. Dude, Synchros is like the best part of Yu-Gi-Oh. The fuck you talking about, Cameron? Oh, Calls a crush hour. <laughs> Winner! Yay. That was pretty bad, but hey, at least I won. Let's take that Stefan and your Audi and Chuck and your Lancer and Scott and your Manstag. I'm the superior drift king here. Haha. <laughs> anyway, there's another drift event down. I was quoting players. Oh, well, fuck those guys. Synchros are good. And what have we unlocked from this event? Uh, exhaust tips. Okay. Visual upgrades. Yeah. Anyways, now we have to go all the way to Jackson Heights. So, um. Dips, uh, 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 uh. Alright, here we are. That wasn't as long of a drive as I expected for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, we made it to our next drift event. And it's gonna be one of these, so this ought to be interesting. Small investment gets some serious hype. What do you say? I say, bring it on, Todd. That's what I say. Got a favorite number card? Not really. Um, well, I don't know. Utopia's... Maybe... I think Utopia. Is Utopia 37? I think I'm thinking of number 37. I don't know. When I stopped playing, there weren't, there were still not like too many number cards out, or like they. I, I mean, uh, they released a lot more number monsters after I stopped playing. So, Utopia's thirty-nine. I th I still think it's Utopia. I'm thinking about. There's another monster. I think it was like number twenty-five, somewhere in the twenties. That was also pretty damn good. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go around here, because, uh, bonus zone? Why the fuck not? And look at that, 87,000 points in the bank right there. Easy. Number two, yeah, Sharp Drake, which is shocking. NFS, no, this is, uh, this is Juice 2. Get to, you get to summon a lot of monsters in one turn. Isn't that like just Yu-Gi-Oh in general now, John? You just get to bombard, like, chain 15 million effects to one another and bombard the field. And then on your opponent's turn, your opponent nukes your field and builds their own wall. And then if they somehow don't manage to OTK you, you rinse and repeat your next turn. Favorite GT race car this year? I mean, like, GT class car? Uh, I don't know. I mean, my heart always goes to Team Corvette in terms of actual teams. I really like the M8 
and not just because of the meme. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite GT3 car. I like them all a lot. Also, that was a pretty easy win. Hooray. Nice. Sweet. So. Let us move on to what I believe is going to be our last drift event of the segment. But first... Elabor is poking around looking for their next cover. So step up and impress. Yeah, what Rachel just said. And our last drift event isn't too far up the road, but I'm still going to do a transition to it. Okay. Made it to our... I think final drift event for this segment and the stage, well not the stage because you know I had that sponsor event, but still let's drift against Mark and his posse of wankers and uh, we'll take home the gold, I don't know alright, well um, I tried and failed so let's try this again so, Steve here in his uh, Subaru, pretty good at drifting. Well, good compared to the rest of us freaking rejects, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, he's someone to, someone to look out for. Dodging traffic and burnout 1 and 2, oh my god. That sounds about right, Mike. I mean, I've seen, you know, I, I've seen Jimmer streams when he does his uh, ILMS races, and dear God, <laughs> the GT traffic is uh, not that good. Holy fuck, I'm in last right now. Maybe I should actually use the bonus zones instead of being an idiot. My ground last play was a thing. No. Clearly. I mean, it's been more than six months ago, therefore it doesn't exist. I think I'm actually doing worse this time. Second gear just is not optimal for drifting. Okay, so this one's proven to be a bit difficult, mostly because, mostly because I have too much grip. That's the problem, this car has too much grip, so I can't really drift it that well. Plus, I keep, like, not using the bonus zones. Which is, uh, not helping my cause. Yeah, we're good. I mean, isn't that iRacing in a nutshell? Morons. You know, all the people who dreamed of being uh, professional race car drivers, but they're too stupid or bad. Reduce tire grip on the dyno. I mean, this is the last event I'm doing in the Tiburon, so I don't really care. I just gotta get that one good uh, race and be done here. Yeah, Scott Speed. Uh, poor Scott Speed. I almost feel bad for him from it because of his meltdown. By almost, I mean I kind of do. Well, those first two laps went, well, the first lap and a half went fairly well, and then everything just went to shit. The point twos for the drift. Excuse me. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Fuck. Ah, got sniped right at the end. Damn it. Oh well, I'll just run over this thought. I feel better now. Alright. Well, okay, never mind. I was going to say I was going to be slightly tactical about this attempt and just kind of lay low so I don't have to deal with these idiots, but never mind. 
We're just gonna spin each other out, so uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with these idiots. Also, I might as well just stay in second gear, unless I, like, slow down to 10 miles per hour. Drifting bad. Nah, me just bad at it. Okay, that was good. That was some good points banked right there, 11k. Excuse me. How you doing? Just gotta stay in the bonus zones, that's fine. Does it give me point? Give me mini pont. Okay, yeah, this is going monumentally better. I'm already at 70k. If I get sniped this time, I'll be shocked and also slightly upset. There we go. Okay, that one gave me some troubles. But in the end, I win. Just took some trial and error. Steven is WRX. He's pretty good at skidding that thing, I have to say. I lost a lot to him, I think. But there we go. We did it. And I think that is the last of the main drift events. Of course, check the map to make sure. Once we uh, get loaded into the overworld, and we've unlocked Nitrous Purge things. Hooray! Stuff to make us look cool. And yep, that's all the drift events complete, except for the sponsor one, so. There we go. So, with that, we're going to jump to our garage, and we're going to say goodbye to our Tiburon for next time on Underground 2. We're going to be getting a brand new car. And, uh, well, we'll be doing performance mods to it just in the next segment. Then we'll be making it look garbage later, but still, for now, goodbye, Tiburon. You served me well, but it's time for some new wheels. We'll be getting those new wheels next time, so stay tuned for more Underground 2.